Hello everyone, welcome to Storytime with Mr. Ryan. I'm Mr. Ryan, and today we're going to be reading The Immortal Jellyfish by Sang Meow. This is a great story about loss and coping with loss. Perhaps you've lost someone and you wish there was some possible way you could bring them back. Well, there is. Because even though you've lost someone, they will live forever in your heart and in your dreams. In this story, we're going to be learning a little bit about the immortal jellyfish. There's a certain kind of jellyfish, which is called the Turritopsis dornihi, which is its scientific name. And it's a jellyfish that can indeed live forever, but not in the conventional way that you might think. These jellyfish, when they reach a maturity age, all they do is revert to an earlier, more juvenile stage in their development. Um, but we're going to be <laughs> sort of fantasizing a little bit about what it would be like if these jellyfish were immortal, and if, what if we too could be immortal? Let's hop on in, shall we? A boy and his grandpa sat drawing together one afternoon. Have you ever heard of the jellyfish that lives forever? Grandpa asked. No, Grandpa. What is that? replied the boy. It's called the immortal jellyfish. Whenever it seems like it is about to die, it starts its life again, smiled Grandpa. What about us? Are we immortal? asked the boy. Not in that way, replied Grandpa. But there are other ways of living forever. The boy did not understand. He wanted to be immortal, and he wished his grandpa would tell him how. But that week, he didn't see his grandpa at all. His parents said that his grandpa had died and that he would not be able to see him again. The boy felt lost. That night, he cried quietly as he drifted into a deep slumber. Whoosh. Suddenly, he heard a familiar voice calling his name. It was his grandpa. Come on, Grandpa said. Put on your raincoat. We have to catch the last rainstorm. The boy hurried along behind him. Where are we going? asked the boy. I'm going to show you how to become immortal, Grandpa replied. Hold on tight, Grant shouted Grandpa, as a strong wind came from behind and lifted them high into the sky. As they flew higher and higher, the boy realized they were not in the sky at all, but in the ocean. On the back of a great whale, they rode through the big sea sky. In the distance, the boy could see a mysterious yellow door. Beyond the door, they discovered a great and beautiful world, bursting with life. Here we are, said Grandpa. In front of them, a smartly dressed owl appeared. Hello, it said. Welcome to the life transfer city. This is a world of dreams where the departed can live on through the memories of their loved ones. Here you will find every kind of animal. They have all come here to be born again. Each animal will choose a new creature to become who will visit their family and friends in their dreams. In this room, there is a creature inside every tube. 
please follow me into the next room where you can choose which one you would like to become. As they entered, they met a man who was choosing to become a fish. He had been an accountant in his previous life, memorizing numbers every day until he was quite exhausted. He chose to become a fish for it has a very short memory. Then they met a lion who had chosen to become a cloud. The lion had been made to perform in the circus and had no freedom while he was alive. He chose to become a cloud so he could drift freely through the world. Finally, the boy and his grandpa floated to the top of the great room. Here, all kinds of animals were being picked up and carried away to their new dreams by fantastic flying creatures. Grandpa smiled and turned to the boy. It's time for me to make my decision and for you to go home. I will see you again soon. And with that, a beautiful white bird arrived to carry the boy home. Together, they flew over the enchanting trees of the forest and the twinkling lights of the city and the beautiful blue sea. Before he knew it, the boy was back in his cozy bed, wondering what his grandpa had chosen to become. Perhaps he would find out in his dreams. A bird? A fox? A tree? Or maybe an immortal jellyfish. That was a great story, wasn't it? Thank you all for reading this excellent story called The Immortal Jellyfish with me. We learned a little bit about an animal and the animal kingdom. In this case, we learned about the jellyfish. But we also learned about a topic today, a little bit, called reincarnation. It's a very interesting topic and there's lots more to learn about if you're interested in learning more about it. Well, thank you all very much for joining me for story time with Mr. Ryan. I'm Mr. Ryan. I had a lot of fun reading along with you. Feel free to check out some of my other great stories on this channel, or if you're looking for some fun activities you can do right from home, go ahead and check out veronalibrary.org children. Until next time, I'll be seeing you. Bye-bye.